Kate Middleton just made her first public appearance since announcing her third pregnancy. The Duchess of Cambridge attended a reception at Buckingham Palace in honour of World Mental Health Day along with Prince William and Prince Harry. Kate has remained out of the public eye since August when she visited the White Garden to mark the 20th anniversary of the death of Princess Diana. The mother of two suffers from hyperemesis gravidarum, a severe form of morning sickness, that has caused her to miss events, including her son Prince George's first day of school. The Duchess' condition is improving but she's still suffering from hyperemesis gravidarum, a royal aide said. She's delighted to be here tonight. Although Kate is reportedly less than 12 weeks pregnant, a tiny baby bump could be spotted. Press Association VAP Images The reception celebrated the impact of the Royals' Heads Together charity and served as a thank you to those who supported the mental health initiative. Kate, William and Harry managed to sneak into the gathering via a hidden door in the palace's white drawing room, where they met representatives from the mental health sector, including Mind President and comic Stephen Fry. Kate wore a temperly outfit for the occasion. I do understand she's been having this problem more severely than many pregnant mothers, Fry said about Middleton's morning sickness, and so we're very grateful she's here. During a speech at an earlier reception at St. James Palace, William said they were proud to have played a part in this and credited his wife with coming up with the idea for Heads Together. It was Catherine who first realized that all three of us were working on mental health in our individual areas of focus, he said. She had seen that at the core of adult issues like addiction and family breakdown, unresolved childhood mental health issues were often part of the problem. Harry also said the royals were incredibly grateful to those who contributed to Heads Together but that there was still work to be done, all of you contributed to the first truly national conversation on mental health, he said. All of you helped change the language around this issue, shifting away from fear and shame, to a more open and optimistic sense about what we can achieve when we simply start talking. All of you showed what is possible when we get our heads together, Heathcliff O'Malley Daily Telegraph But why are the three royals have been promoting heads together all year long? Kate introduced an animated film about mental health and their royal highnesses handed out headbands at the London Marathon. But that's not all. Kate, William and Harry also starred in a video featuring the three of them having a personal discussion about mental health. In addition, the trio spoke about the importance of mental health back in May 2016, and Prince William had a video discussion about the topic with Lady Gaga. Plus, Prince Harry spoke about mental health on Bryony Gordon's podcast Mad World and recently launched a new partnership with the Ministry of Defense to promote mental health within the armed forces. Watch the tweeted video to learn more about Heads Together and the Royals' efforts to promote conversations about mental health. We're happy to see that Kate is doing well and that the Royals have gathered for such a good cause. For more celebrity news, watch E! News at 7 and 11 p.m.